and I try different meditations. I, I used to always, you know, look for a purpose from that meditation. Higher meaning of life is just to be happy. When you give an opportunity to yourself, you will see a difference. So yesterday evening I was sitting outside uh, by the lake and uh, this one thing that really struck me hard is when I try different meditations I, I used to always you know look for a purpose from that meditation or what that was supposed to do but I think I, I finally realized that it's not about finding the purpose of that meditation or the intention of that meditation I think it's all about understanding that all meditations lead to one thing that is calming your mind you know just make sure that your mind is still that is the purpose of all the meditation so it doesn't matter whatever technique that you are trying so right now I'm reading this book for example and it has got 112 meditation techniques that are taught by God himself so they're very powerful meditations and they're very easy and uh, when I was trying some of them, I think I I felt that the meaning, you know, what they were trying to teach, I was really able to feel what they were trying to teach, that it's all about stilling your mind. Once your mind is still, you are in the state of joy. We don't realize this because sometimes we think that, yes, I'm already calm, I'm still but uh, in reality, it doesn't really happen like that. When we are meditating, we are calm but as soon as we are done meditating we are again busy with the life and you know the chaos and everything it again takes over so for that it's really important to understand what really meditation is meditation is not just about sitting and you know breathing for a few minutes or an hour and then you know again become the same person no it's all about changing your personality you become meditative at some point so many things that we do or we are taught from the childhood that we should do this we should do this this will make God happy so in reality for God it doesn't really work like that you know he doesn't care about these things we are taught to do these things so that we come on to a certain maturity level so that we can really understand the higher meaning of life. Higher meaning of life is just to be happy. Once a person is, is reached to that level where he can understand the real spiritualism, which is not the religion, it's not related to religion in any way, 
at that stage all that we have read so far all these techniques and everything and the rituals everything is discarded it doesn't matter because at that stage you become the part of god you become one with god and that's the concept of oneness the reason i'm sharing this is yesterday when i was sitting here alone and uh, i was doing this meditation not really sitting in a meditation posture but i was just looking at the fishes and i was just feeding them and i just got lost it's I, it felt like it was just maybe under five minutes but in reality when I looked at the clock it was way 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 more than that and that's when I realized that maybe I was drifted because uh, uh, that's what meditation does right it makes you meditative and at that point when you do anything else or any normal work you feel joy you are all the time you're in a happy state and that is all about you know meditation so I'm not saying that I'm already there where I can say I'm 24 hours or I'm 24 by 7 I'm in a happy state or I'm meditative no but what I'm saying is when you give an opportunity to yourself you will see a difference gradually and slowly you will see a difference if you have patience have patience have faith just love yourself whatever you are doing just love yourself be in the moment don't worry about the past don't worry about the future just be in that moment see, yesterday while I was just sitting there just being in the moment doing nothing thinking about nothing of course the surrounding this calm and peaceful surrounding really helped uh, but this is again another learning for us as a you know human being where we are so much occupied in our normal day-to-day -day life it's not possible for us to just sit in such surrounding you know all the time but the thing that we need to learn is I think just to be in that happy and calm and peaceful state even in your busy schedule it's not really hard to take away one hour or at least 30 minutes of your day the time for yourself right so that's why you know we read a lot these days about the importance of self-love and self-care when you're doing meditation for yourself you are loving yourself you're caring yourself because you're nurturing your soul once we learn this lesson things really change just be kind to yourself you know, don't be hard, don't be very strict and be in the moment.